Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I just wanted to do a quick Christmas list for you guys of things that I am going to be asking for for Christmas this year. I don't have a big list. I really ask for very practical items. I feel like, like, I'm not going to include some of the items that I asked my mom for, like air filters for our furnace and a few cutting boards because we need some new cutting boards but other than that I just have a few items for me personally and yeah I just wanted to share them with you I don't have any like makeup items because I tend to not ask for makeup for Christmas because that's items that I feel like I can purchase myself and I wouldn't want somebody going into the store and being super overwhelmed because if you've never been into a Sephora or an Ulta before it's very over overwhelming, especially if I give my husband a list of things. I told him, what, last year? I gave him a list of everything and like exactly the color, how much it should cost, stuff like that. And I told him, I was like, if you go into Sephora, just hand them the list and they will get everything for you. Like you don't have to look around, they will grab it for you. And he was like, absolutely not. I can't do it. I am so overwhelmed. He hates crowds too, so that's a thing. But yeah. That was a big long spiel for the fact that I just want to share a few Christmas items that I asked for personally for Christmas this year and let's get right into it. So the number one item on my list this year should actually maybe come as a surprise to you guys. I'm not sure. But I don't actually own a ring light. <laughs> I have a light, like a $20 light that I bought from Walmart. And it's like that tall, like stand up, like living room type light. But the top of it is like flexible. So I like flex it down and aim it towards me. I feel like it washes me out sometimes. And I feel like it washes out some of my products that I try to show and like swatches and stuff. So I did this year finally ask for a ring light. I asked my dad and Heidi, Heidi's my stepmom, for a ring light this year from Amazon. I picked out the one I wanted and it has a couple different filters for it. And yeah, so I can put a picture up here of the specific one that I asked for. But if you guys have any recommendations down below on ring lights, please let us all know. And, you know, give us like a site maybe, like a website that we can find it on. If you guys have a ring light that you really, really love, please leave us the comment down below on which one it is. I would like a larger ring light. Um, I know they have like the 14 inch, the 18 inch. I'm not sure any other ones, but I did ask for the 18 inch one, so. But that's the number one item I really, really want for Christmas this year. So the next item that I asked my husband for is a cloth cooking apron. So if you guys have ever been to like painting with a twist or anywhere where you like go painting and you have that like cloth apron on, that's the kind of apron I want for cooking because I feel like some days I come home and I start cooking immediately like before I take off my scrubs and it would be really nice to like throw on an apron so that I feel like it's a little bit cleaner. I don't know. I just really want something and I want to be all cute and like I don't know, be cooking in the kitchen with my little apron and my, my slippers on and I've wanted to do that for a while and I haven't purchased a cooking apron for myself and yeah, I would just really like one this year. I think it would be awesome. The next item that I have on my Christmas wish list is a pair of gloves for the gym. I know that might be like a weird present to ask for for some of you, but Every time I go to the gym, I've been trying to work on my like chin-ups and pull-ups. I don't remember which one is which, whatever. But every time I do, my hands hurt so bad. Like I get really severe calluses right here on my hands and I just, it hurts so bad. So I'll do them for like a full week and then I won't be able to do them at all the next week because my hands will hurt so bad. So I really think a pair of gloves will really help that. Also when I do like dumbbell stuff, it really is just so painful to do and I don't want it to be painful to be at the gym. I want it to be enjoyable. So I did ask for a pair of gloves for the gym, like with the fingers cut out, you know what I'm talking about? 
I think that would be a really, really great present for me and something that I'll actually use all the time. Then I asked for three different perfumes. I like to give my husband different options of things to purchase for me so that I don't know exactly what he's gonna get me. So if you go to like a Meyer or a Walmart, they always have those little perfume gift packs. And I found two of them that are like Jennifer Aniston scents. I've never actually smelled them, but I love her and I love what she stands for and you know everything that she's about. I really do love her, so I want to support her and purchase her fragrance. Also, I feel like it's probably going to smell amazing anyways, so why do I need to even test it out? I can just enjoy the scent when I get it, right? I don't know, but that is just one item or one perfume that I asked for. Another perfume I asked for is a little bit more expensive. A lot more expensive actually. It is from YSL and it's the original Black Opium perfume. I was actually at Sephora the other day and I spritzed that all over me and then I came home and my husband like came up to me and gave me a nice hug and kiss and he's like, mmm, what is that? And I was like, oh, I sprayed myself with Black Opium. And he's like, what? What's that? I don't understand. What are you saying to me? <laughs> and I told him it was a fragrance at the store that I was at and he just thought I was being silly. But really, I put it on my list. I want that. I really do. And then the last fragrance that I asked for is from Nest and it is the scent Indigo. I did go to a bigger Sephora and I tested out all the Nest scents and Indigo, when I, when I smelled that one, I was like, oh my God, it's so perfect. So I tried to like wipe all the other scents off of me and I sprayed it on both of my arms and on my neck because sometimes when you just spray it in the air or on those little tester pads, it doesn't smell like it's going to smell with your body chemistry and with your skin chemistry and your sweat and stuff like that. It doesn't smell the same. So I figured that I would not get it and then I would leave the store and then if I still liked it after I got home on my skin, then I would put it on my wish list and I loved it. Like I was like this all night just sniffing myself. It's, it smelled so good. So I definitely want to get that one. Another thing that I put on my Christmas list is an external hard drive. I know this might be silly of a thing to ask for, but I asked for an external hard drive for my iMac computer. We do have a one terabyte iMac computer, but I feel like I'm really starting to fill it up with the amount of videos that I've put on it and I'm worried that it's going to start slowing down because we have so much storage space filled with videos and pictures and stuff like that because those are like the higher, I don't know, they like take up so much space and I feel like if I have an external hard drive then I can keep all of my videos on that and then we don't have to worry about taking up space on the actual computer, we can just take up space on my external hard drive. So the one I asked for is from brand Lacey, L-A-C-I-E. I can post a picture of it right here for you. But I have heard so many good things about these and I've never heard of any of them crashing or anything wrong happening with them. It is a little bit more expensive as far as external hard drives go, but I'm willing to pay the price for something that I know I can rely on, it's gonna work great, and that I don't have any issues with in the future. So I am gonna be asking for that for Christmas. And the very last thing <laughs> that I am asking for for Christmas is probably gonna be silly to some of you guys, but to me, it's like totally worthy of a Christmas present. So as you guys can see the background, oh, I almost knocked my picture down. As you guys can see the background walls that I have here is like a cream pink color. Like it almost looks like a foundation color. If you guys know what I'm talking about, it's like very creamy and pink. But we just painted our living room. Well, probably about six months ago, we painted our living room like a very light gray, like almost like a white gray type of color. And it's so beautiful. And we have more of the paint downstairs. I think I'd probably have to get another gallon, but I am going to ask my husband's brother, who is a painter, to come over and help me paint the office. Again, we do call this an office. It's not a, a beauty room like a lot of you guys do have, which would be amazing to have, but um, my husband needs to do his work in here as well, so we do call it the office. 
but I think I want to paint this room the same color as our living room, which is that light, light gray color. That way I can kind of put whatever I want in the background and it's going to look good. Also, I can wear like whatever colors I want and they'll look good with that background as well. I don't want to do stark white, like stark, stark white, because I feel like that'll be too much white. I am starting to move in a lot of white furniture in this office here and I don't want everything to be white. I do like white. I think it looks beautiful. I do like darker colors as well though. So I feel like if I do like a light gray wall, then I feel like it's just going to brighten up the room, make it look so beautiful and nice and clean and fresh. And I feel like it'll look good with the white furniture. I am going to be getting a white desk that I'm purchasing myself, not asking for a Christmas present for. But that'll be behind me, so that way there'll be some differentiation between the color of the desk and the color of the wall. So I'm really excited about this, obviously. Like, I can't stop talking about my wall color. But that's what I'm gonna be asking for from David's brother. And that's my husband, David. And I think that would be a perfect Christmas gift for us because I'm, I'm not that, like, good with like painting walls. I can paint pictures on like a canvas or whatever, but painting a wall I think would be a little bit too much for me to do by myself and to be able to handle and make it look really good. What are you guys asking for for Christmas this year that might not be like your typical Christmas makeup, hair products, whatever. What are you asking for that's very personal to you? Let us know down below in the comments so we can kind of get ideas from other people and figure out different kinds of presents to ask for besides just the typical, you know, perfume, which I asked for, of course, but perfume, you know, clothes, socks, whatever. What are you asking for that's unique for you? Like my painting idea and make sure to subscribe below. I have a huge giveaway coming here soon for you guys for the Christmas season. I thought I would give back to you since you guys have given me so much and I appreciate everything that you guys do. All the comments, I read them all and I love hearing from you guys so make sure to leave those down below. And also ring the bell for more videos from me and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!